Hello, in this video we will understand about the rickets and osteomalacia. This is a disease due to the deficiency of phosphate and calcium. Let's begin to understand. The first is causes malnutrition in early life history, light exposure less as like commonly for sun bath. So when we will not expose in uh, uh, front of the light. On the other hand, the vitamin D food deficiency, mother breast milk deficiency during the early age for child to lactation of milk and genetic causes like homeostatic disturbance. So anyhow, the basically the vitamin D activate from the cholesterol into the vitamin D cholecalciferol conversion and this basically is the due to the light. This is the baby which that is affected via, uh, due to a uh, recurs and osteomalacia. So identification uh, uh, with the phenotypically large head and the um, protruding forehead and the pigeon chest, curved uh, humerus, the dist uh, distressed ribs. Curved radius and ulna, and the uh, protruding abdominal. Uh, anyhow, the this is the uh, enlarged uh, epiphysis at wrist. Epiphysis we will discuss also. So remember, this is basically. Is, um, let's begin to understand the further sign and symptom again. To understand the short stretch uh, stature and bowed legs and the walking can be problem due to the bowed leg and diffuse skeletal uh, skeleton pain and the bone tenderness and fractures easily proximal muscle weakness and ATP deficiency will lead to cramp night jerk and walk pain anyhow here I am uh, uh, understanding about the curved uh, tibia and fibula also the part for the walking problem and enlarged epiphysis at ankle epiphysis mean let's begin to understand the bone the bigger bone the compact bone compact bone contain inside is the bone marrow which that's contain stem cell so here is the movement uh, from the simpson uh, uh, cartoon is showing that the movement of the recut containing problem here is the bone. This bone contain uh, where the joint is present is the epiphysis are present. This is the growth uh, plate. It is used for the growth of the bone. So that is why it is known as a growth plate. It will enlarge to become again compact. And compact bone is here. And the metaphysis is this. And this is the diaphysis. The shaft is also Anyway, this is the osteoblast, is the bone forming cell, while the osteoclast is the bone dissolving cell, and the osteocyte is the bone maturing cell from the osteoblast maturing to the osteocyte as a part of the bone, which that stores the calcium and phosphate. Calcification inhibitor is the number one problem. In this way, the osteoprotrigerin. Uh, osteoprotagrin basically and osteopontin and clotho and for uh, FGF fibroblast growth factor 23 these all factors will inhibit uh, this uh, when the basically inhibit the osteoblast uh, activity the basically uh, and in this way increase of this constriction will inhibit and the calcification inhibitor excess exposure to um, AI and the fluoride and the uh, and the at your at your own age, uh, which that will lead to bind the bones and in this way the bone dissolve due to the osteoclast activity activation due to the inhibition of the osteoblast activity activation due to the osteopro tagrin and the osteopontin and clotho activation more. So on the other hand, the lack of bone mineralization components 
uh, when the concentration of calcium and phosphate will increase from the bone into the blood circulatory system but it will be decreased ultimately how it is possible let's begin to understand the phosphate is a renal disorder will lead to also uh, vitamin d deficiency will lead to excrete the phosphate and the phosphate deficiency will lead to increase the fgf23 is due to the phosphate deficiency due to the fgf23 increase by genetically calcium severe deficiency abnormal vitamin d metabolism uh, like vitamin D release and excretion uh, disorder, synthesis, calcium and phosphate disorder. So in this way you can understand the uh, decrease the possibility for the decrease of the phosphate and calcium in the blood due to the excretion of the excessive calcium and phosphate from the kidney. So uh, the disruption in uh, calcium ion homeostasis will lead to osteomalacia and uh, recurs due to the calcium uh, calcium deprivation in the blood circulatory system will not work for the bone modeling and the bone formation. Number three is basically the a lack of the reduced function of mineralization enzyme like ALPL. This is the bigger picture of the cell I am drawing and the genetic mutation will lead to not produce that enzyme which that is required for the uh, for synthesis of bone like deposition of calcium and phosphate like ALPL. When the ALPL enzyme deficiency due to the genetic mutation will lead to pyrophosphate will be not split into the simple phosphate. In this way, the calcium will bind, will decrease, will lead to collagen in bone, will decrease with the calcium and phosphate. Like other, uh, uh, on the other hand, the uh, MN, uh, sorry, MV, the matrix vesicle will become a calcium deposition into the collagen in bone and the matrix, uh, matrix, uh, matrix vesicle, remember. Okay, okay. So and, and now we will discuss this is the calcium and this all thing is due to the enzymatic activity and the genes regulation when decrease so it means the genetic disorder which that will lead to recurs and osteomalacia. So that is why this is the matrix vesicle which that contain a sphingomyelin. The sphingomyelin is attached with the SMPO3 protein is enzymatically will lead to phosphocholine formation this phosphocholine the phospho uh, uh, one enzyme will lead to uh, uh, detachment of the phosphate group and choline and in this way the phosphate group and calcium will deposit in the form of um, hydroxyapatite crystal this hydroxyapatite crystal is a form for the deposition uh, the calcium and phosphate into the bone the so complication is same the recurs occurs uh, uh, before epiphyseal closure so the epiphyseal closure before the epiphyseal closure the recurs can occur and the osteomalacia is occur uh, after the epiphyseal closure epiphyseal here you can see and the growth plate and the epiphysis uh, is basically closure will occur and the metaphysis so in this way here is the osteo Penia, the reduced bone density and if the hypophosphatemic production of ATP and other will lead to uh, decrease the ATP and also cause cramp and the GI here you can see the uh, physiology for child to cure the recurs after vitamin D treatment while the food is vitamin D rich food like yogurt milk and cabbage so the gastrointestinal tract and the kidney will not reabsorb too much calcium and phosphate will lead to decrease the deficiency in the blood will lead to recurs and osteomalacia that is the part for the understanding uh, easy to understand so i hope you make sense about this the sign and symptom but in this video we have not discussed about the treatment too much and the medication but you just understand about the vitamin D is very important for the normal homeostasis for prevention of the ricket and osteomalacia. I hope you make sense about that. Next video we will learn about the uh, osteoporosis and the other bones deformities.